six grand doesn't buy you much in the world of new cars. A pair of Aston Martin champagne flutes, for instance, or two bottles of Bentley limited edition aftershave. Or I could get myself one of these. It's a wheel from a Bugatti Veyron, excluding the tyre. Or this, Europe's cheapest car, the Dacia Sandero. This is a 1,000 kilometre road trip road test. I'm going to squeeze a month's worth of motoring into just two days as I head to Courchevel, one of Europe's most expensive ski resorts, to see if this cheap little car built in Romania is a bargain hunter's dream or just a bag of old bolts. Actually, it doesn't cost £6,000. This costs £5,995. So there's a fiver in your back pocket already. Dacia was bought by Renault back in 1999 and they came to the UK officially in 2012 with a slogan, shockingly affordable. The idea is it's a completely bare bones, no nonsense car brand using slightly older technology that's already been designed, it's already had the research and development paid for, just regurgitated in a slightly different package. So it's French parts, Romanian build quality. So it could either be absolutely fine or it could be So who exactly would buy a Sandero? This is a fleece. This is worn by people who want proper value for money. They want function. This is very warm, very hard wearing. These are the people who buy the Dacia Sandero. Fleece people. People who 15 years ago would have bought Skodas and broken biscuits and tinned meat. And now they just want a completely basic car that's a white good, which is convenient because this is the base model and it only comes in white. I don't have central locking, I don't have electric windows, I don't have a sunroof. If you wanted a stereo, that's £250. If you want air conditioning, sorry, no. It might skimp on life's little luxuries, but the Sandero doesn't skimp when it comes to safety. It's got ISO fix and it's got an airbag here to protect my face and it's got an airbag there to protect the person sitting there's face and it's got airbags on the side of the seats. It is all right. The next stop in our penny-pinching road trip is a Formula One circuit in Reims, where the entry is completely free because it's derelict. It stays as a motoring circuit a long, long gone. This is now just a commuter road. So I'm gonna do a little performance test of my own in the Dacia. It's time for a 0 to 62. I don't have a stopwatch because I'm on a budget, so I'm gonna count. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, 12 Mississippi, 13 Mississippi, 40, there you go. So, the Sandero gets to 62 in 14 and a half seconds, which is obviously very slow. It's also not massively fuel efficient, so that's worth considering. As well as the old school engine in this car, the Sandero is also available with a diesel and a state-of-the-art three-cylinder petrol engine. But choose one of those, and you'll no longer be driving the cheapest car on sale in Europe. I'm so comfortable in the Sandero. Maybe it's because when you get into a car that's not even 6,000 quid, your expectations are very low. So immediately, my spirits are raised when I think the dashboard's not offensive, the instrumentation is not offensive, the gear shift's not offensive. After two days and a thousand kilometers, the Sandero has transported me to one of Europe's most exclusive ski resorts. Along the way, nothing has fallen off, and I reckon its shabby chic looks don't seem out of place parked in front of my luxurious six grand a night chalet. Chances are most Dacia owners are never gonna drive their car as fast or far as we have. And this trip shows that a bunch of recycled Renault parts actually makes for a comfortable, compliant, rugged little companion. The Sandero is proof that cheap doesn't have to mean nasty. So am I gonna trade it then for my bottles of Bentley perfume? my Aston Martin champagne flute, or a night in six grand alpine paradise? 
my heart says yes. You know you're so sexy. But my fleece is saying no. So if you're after a real bargain, forget about broken biscuits and tinned meat and bag yourself a Sandero. Oh, 